Hey, hey guys, this is Sarah with Sarah Lee Crochet, and I am here to show you my lovey. I'm still working with this new camera holder thing. Yeah, so, but anyway, we can work with this. So this is the lovey, and it's on the bear, and you can see the full lovey in the shop, but I will include a picture for the thumbnail, I guess. And the way the lovey works, set that aside it's just a granny square blanket with a elastic hold in the middle and you just pop that sorry guys over the head pull out the arms and you have a really really cute lovey guys yeah so there it is really really cute really simple you can make it as big as you want or as little as you want and you can get any teddy bear or any other stuffed animals and put it in there but let's get started and let me show you guys how I get started with it I'll be using the primrose um, yarn I hope this is a yarn that you guys can see the stitch is just fine and then I will also be using a um, tie a hair tie and let me just try to adjust this a little bit better here we go and that will be it I'm currently using a five um, crochet hook you can use whatever you're comfortable with um, usually I'll switch to a larger co crochet hook um, after I am done I mean as far as once um, I reach a certain point I'll switch over to a larger for the ends of the project but that's just my weird way of doing things. You don't have to do that. Okay, so attach your yarn whatever way you feel comfortable. I usually just tie several knots and do it like that. Bear with me. Have my deal here just in case. And once I tie a few, I will just cut this off. Okay, and guys, I don't do a lot of tutorials. Actually, I've only done one, so <laughs> bear with me. I'm not a pro at this. Okay, so let's start with a chain, and then what you'll need to do is do 36 single crochet in the tie. <laughs> so let's start with that. One, two, three four five six seven and try to make your um stitches really loose um because you will need to get in there later so eight nine ten eleven twelve and guys i don't edit so what I'll be showing you is just several rows and then it'll be the same step depending on how long, how bigger you want to make it. You'll just keep repeating. 12, I said, and then 13, 14, 15, okay, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 and then you just push it back to make more room so I got 20 there make sure all of my stitches are showing so now we go to 21 22 23 24 push back again <laughs> 25 26 27 and 28 push back again 29 almost there 30 31 32 33 34 35 and 36 Fix that last one in there. 
Okay, so we have 36 and we will slip stitch in the first stitch right here. Pull that out. And then I just like to stretch mine out a little bit. That's just me. Okay, and so we'll do one, two, three. And this will be the first part of a granny square. So we are doing three double crochet in the first stitch. And then we do, we skip one, two, and then in the third one, we'll do three double crochet. Now this one will end up being the corner, uh, we'll finish that corner off. But so we just assume this is a corner, which it will be, and then we'll do one of the middle parts here and then do another one. I always like to make sure we're not missing a stitch. So it'll be one, two, three again. And then we'll do the three double crochet. And then, so since we have two right here, it's time for another corner. So we go one, two, three. In the corners, um, what we do is three double crochet, chain two, one, two, and then three double crochet. Two and three. So we have a corner there. So we don't chain anything from there. We go one, two, three, and then we do the three double crochets for the middle of the between corner to corner, I guess. So there's one, so we'll do one more. One, two, three. One two and three okay so we have two in between there's a corner so now it's time for another corner so it's one two three and then in there we'll do three double crochet chain two and three double crochet it's so weird doing a video because it's really hard trying to explain for me anyway because I'm I don't do that often okay so you kind of see how it is as far as how it looks with the square there's a corner there's a corner this is going to be a corner so now we are doing the middle section again so for this part I always like to look there's one stitch two stitch third stitch we're doing the three double crochets there was one two and three okay then we're doing one two three again and then that one gets a three double crochet two and three all right and then the next one will be a corner so we go one two and three and this one will be the three double crochet chain two three double crochet make sure i'm putting that in the right space there the first row you just have to pay attention to and then after that is pretty easy sailing one two and then three double crochet all right all right so we have another corner and then now we're filling in here so it is one two three three double crochet and then we do one two three that'll be another three double crochet and if you did everything correct you will have one two three and then you are finishing up this corner that's that'll be the last thing you do so since you already had the three double crochet so we're doing another three double crochet because every corner is three double crochet chain two three double crochet right okay so we just did that three we'll do a chain two and then join at the top of the third stitch so what we have here it might look a little wobbly right now but we have a corner here a corner here a corner here and in between every one of those corners we have two three double crochets to make the granny square Okay, 
So the way I do mine, um, granny square turnaround when I'm at the end like this, for this first row only, I will go ahead and just turn it around. And then I'll do a single stitch when I turn it around to kind of put me more in the middle. And then there I do a three double crochet. Well, that chain three was um, considered a double crochet. So, and then you chain two, and then you do a three double crochet. And if you do need to slow this video down, I do it with a lot of tutorials on the upper right hand corner. At least with my iPhone, there's three dots and you can go into the settings and then it'll have the speed and you can do, you know, 1.25 or you can slow it down um, if I'm going too fast, which I do a lot when I'm really trying to pay attention to a tutorial. Um, so I really slow it down. All right, so we have that first corner, and then from this point, you are going to go into the middle. See that little triangle portion right there? You're going right in there with three double crochets. Okay, and then right in the next middle, you're doing the same thing, three double crochets. Okay, and then right in this middle, right before the corner there's another portion right there you're doing three double crochets and this allows you to um, increase and allows your blankets to get larger so now you now you're going into the corner so in every corner you're doing the three double crochet chain two three double crochet so one two three and one and two oops and then you're going in there for another three. Okay. And so now we see a triangle here. We're automatically going in there with three double crochets. This is so, it's one of those mindless kind of crocheting where you don't really have to keep track of anything or count anything. You just kind of do. You go in the space. There's a space right there. You do another three crochet, double crochet. It's just all really, really easy and flow. So we see a corner. We know that is three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. So you can create this so quick. You can use any size yarn you want. You can use the bulky yarn. Um, the brunette. I'm planning on making a lovey for my little niece to be born and we're gonna do that so we know we just did a corner there's a triangle right there put another three double crochet right there and this just will grow super fast there's another corner or another triangle rather yet and then we see there's another one there And then we see there's a corner coming up, so we go into that corner hole, and then we put three double crochets, chain two. Um, I've never, I know um, a lot of people work with granny square. I've never made anything out of granny squares before, which is kind of crazy, but I mean, they're beautiful, but I've just never made anything. I know people put things together. Like make blankets where they put it together with so many granny squares, but I've never done that. Alright, so we're approaching our last row here of this one. Or the end of this row rather yet. And then... Three. Then three. My yarn a little tangle up here. Here we go. Go. Oh. Go. A little yarn splitting, I guess. All right, so now connecting to it looks a little wobbly, but it's meant to look like that. When we go to connect, this is our second row. 
of this. So when we go to connect to this row, we're connecting to the top of the third stitch. And then I slip stitch all the way to the middle. This is the middle of the corner, right? So I slip stitch all the way there. So from now on, we will not turn our work around. We will just go round and round and round. So once we get to the point where we slip stitch to the middle, we're just doing our three double crochet, chain two, I'm sorry. So once we do the chain three, of course, that's one. This is considered two, this is considered three. And then chain two, and then three double crochets. Okay, and then it is just all repeat from here. So next we'll see our little triangle right here, and then we'll put three double crochets in there. I will do I will finish out this row with you guys, and then that'll be it. So just three double crochets. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing okay. I'm doing all right. I did a video earlier today of a little haul. I'm going to have to post it um, where I, my job told me I had received a furlough notice. Um, so as you see, we're approaching a corner. So we just see those corners start showing a bit more as the blanket get a little larger. And then we know in the middle, we just do the three double. Yeah, my job had told me that I was getting furlough on March 15th, so I have just been really nervous about, you know, insurances and, you know, what happens. I've never been furlough or never have not had a job where insurance was provided, so I've never been unemployed or anything of that sort. So I didn't know what how you get insurance or anything of that sort, so I've just been researching it, you know, just getting prepared. Um, you know, I, I took, um, scheduled myself to take some classes, just little things, you know, to really occupy myself and prepare for the whole situation. But anyway, my job announced yesterday, the email doesn't said, you know, furlough has been, um, reclined and that. We, will, we are guaranteed not to get furlough for 2021. So, which is awesome. It just gives me more time to, you know, get more situated and stuff like that. But I was pretty excited. Okay, so we got chain, um, three double crochet. Now we had a corner, as you see. So in there is an automatic three double crochet. Chain two, one, two, and three double crochet. Yeah, so I don't go out much. I work from home mostly. So I usually go out about once every week. I try to just do once a week because the um, virus, <laughs> the COVID count in my city is really high. So I just try to make one weekly trip where I try to do everything, make sure I'm dressed in the... <laughs> proper COVID protection gear, make sure I do a lot of social distancing. Um, I typically only I go as early in the morning as possible to really beat the crowds when I'm going anywhere. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. So I am doing a lot more crocheting. Um, Christmas was really good for my Etsy shop. I had a lot of orders. Um, especially for um, booties I've been making out of the Burnett yarn. So it was a really good Christmas season for Etsy. I've never really been in the Etsy market until 2020. And I've done extremely well there. So I'm going to stay there and keep trying to make my business a little bit, you know, larger and improve and all that stuff. So we have a corner here we're finishing up. And then next one, we see that. One, two, three. And like I said, I know I'm going a little fast, but this you can slow down this video. Um, I do it all the time. But I'm sure a lot of you guys already do granny squares and stuff like that and probably already know how to do this, so. <laughs> 
I get a thrill out of just sometimes just watching people crochet. Um, I do. I just YouTube have been such an addiction, and then this is the end to a row. And as you see, it's getting pretty large already. I'm so excited. This is probably what a six inch. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Just like a little measuring pad I have on. So this is already a six inch. So this is the end again. When you get here, one, two, three. You're counting up, and then you are doing a sing a slip stitch. I'm sorry. In the first, in the third stitch from the um, the third stitch on that first row. So then you just slip stitching all the way until you get to the middle, and then you do a slip stitch there, and then you chain up three, and you start a whole nother row. But just to show this, pull this on here. It's a little teeny tiny right now. But you just pop it over this girly's head, or if it's a boy color, you've been doing that, or whatever you want to do. Kind of looks like a little dress right now, which is not bad at all. That would be really cute. Just make it a little bit longer, be a cute little dress or a skirt. But yeah, that's what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below and be safe. And I love you guys. This is Sarah with Sarah Lee Crochet. Bye.